Blitzers, hey, it's Ronan. Welcome back to the channel. We are reviewing the Sphere today. I've been calling this thing the Pap Sphere, um, just to be mean, but it is actually quite a good tank, and you can get it by getting 100 light bulbs, um, which many of you are working towards getting the really fantastic globes. Um, I've had many globes, they're a lot of fun. But instead of the globe, or in addition to the globe, you can actually get the Sphere, which is a tier seven medium tank. Uh, you can see it here. I am gonna do a quick review of the tank and show you, I'm actually gonna review it in the game, and then I'm gonna show you uh, my game here, my first game with the tank actually, um, here in Normandy, and then um, also a game by someone in Europe who I was just scanning around Blitzstars and saw the game, he has the record uh, so far, and it is ridiculous. Um, it's not only a ridiculous record, it's also a ridiculous game. So right away with the Sphere, uh, it is a Leo, essentially a Leo, and I'm gonna compare the two to see whether it's worth it or not. On the right-hand side, you see the Sphere versus the Leo, and you can see that they are identical except for movement rotation of the turret, and the aim time of the Sphere is much, much better. So it's got a very low aim time, 1.18, but dispersion is the same at 0.38. Um, so right there, a nice advantage over the Leo. Uh, comparing the rest of it, it's a little bit slower, but the, the and the Nomad Traverse is a little bit slower, but the effective power to weight is about the same. Um, and also, uh, that's about it. <laughs> Nomad Traverse is a little bit slower. Obviously, it uh, will make you credits, uh, and, uh, and it has the same exact hit point. Everything else, as you can see, the armor is the same, um, etc. Now, on the armor front, and this is the weakness of the tank, as you're seeing me here, I'm um, actually bouncing all kinds of shots, but you can see the armor, the tank has very little armor. It does have minus 10 gun depression, which is phenomenal. Um, and in, in at plus 15, which is not great, but it doesn't really matter. Um, and the minus and gun depression, you can use that, but you're still getting very, very poor values. You will get bounces with it. I was surprised to see all the bounces I could, I got in, in this game and some of the others. Uh, but as you see the Leo, it's the same. It's not any different. So the difference between the thing and the Leo is a little bit slower. Um, and it's got, it's got a much better aim time on the cannon. That is it. And it's obviously got cool armor and other things. So... Um, I like it for that, and I think it's uh, a cool tank. And I, I uh, went ahead and uh, got sick of grinding my globe, so I bought it with gold, and then um, I went ahead and earned my hundred stuck with my hundred light bulbs or whatever the hell here. But here's the game. So this is a weird game. I, we cleared the flank very easily here. I love the cannon on this thing, and the fact that it has minus and gun depression just makes it. It's not a it's not a haul down medium where you can go bounce shots, but it's got good speed, as you can see there, um, and. In addition to having good speed, it's got a good enough cannon. I do think you should cali with it. I think the pen just is pretty awful. Um, I get pretty lucky there. I somehow bounce up, I think, off the side of my tracks. It does have very wide tracks. But here's a problem with the tank, and I think the big question for all of you, is the tank just worth it, period, and, and how does it compare to the Leo? Um, I do think it's better than the Leo, first of all, foremost. It, it is a fantastic tank, and Leo is arguably, uh, along with the Drac, the best medium in uh, tier seven. The problem is you have smashers and, and annihilators in this tier and also against tier eight, both of these tanks struggle because they're pen values. You're only going to shoot about 200-ish uh, pen, but watch the me maneuver my way around this smasher um, and you can just see the mobility of the tank and how tight the aim time is on a tank that shoots uh, a very high alpha for a medium. So as you can see there, this was, if you watch the game at all versus watching the evaluation, I'm at 3,400 damage and I didn't do that much. I also has has very high uh, damage for high explosive. I think um, it's 350 or so uh, for um, a medium in tier seven. That is fantastic. And I caught someone on fire doing that. So it's got good stuff there. And I think it's, it's um, you know, I think it's a tank definitely worth getting if you have the time to grind it. There's still about four, I believe, days left in the grind so um not you know if you've got the time or the gold i would consider the tank um i, I like it and i think it, it's if you know if you like to play mediums in tier seven which i don't um, i don't play tier seven that much anymore because of annihilators and smashers but if you do like them um highly recommend this tank i do think it is the best medium in the tier um, i compared the win rate of the sphere versus the um other tier uh, seven mediums, and the Drac always has a higher win rate. So I, the Drac, you know, the Drac is so fast, and it has all this crazy armor, um, you know, the you know, so I, weird armor, uh, troll armor, um, spaced armor that sometimes just bounces shots and stuff. So, you know, I think the Drac is probably, I would say, equally good. I, I, I think it's just more play style. Um, this game here, um, as I mentioned before, is from the EU server. Um, 
And you're going to see this guy just absolutely, the beginning of the game is just so-so, but you watched him get a nice uh, quick shot there of that. I will warn you if, as you're watching this, or, or just to let you know that this guy has got, he's an incredibly good player, but he is only at about 500 battles on the EU server, which means when you're under some limit of battles, you get a lot of bots. Now there's not bots, no bots here. You can't actually upload your game with bots. Um, so I know there's no actual true bots. Uh, but just a lot of bad players, and I think that's likely leading to it. But as I watch this game, I think it highlights, again, some of the capabilities of this sphere and what it can do. By the way, I do like the rear of the turret. It's got a nice little uh, latch or something there. Um, our, fl our player here from the EU, he gets the hell out of Dodge, and I forgot his name, and I'll, we'll look at it later. Um, he, he's clearly a good player. Watch him try to get this shot there in, in just a millisecond too late on the shot. Um, but overall, good playing here. He doesn't bleed, uh, has not bled, and... You know, while his, um, you know, his team is mainly on the other side and he's going to it, he's kind of spotted, figured out where everyone was. Um, if he had his teammates followed him, his Progetto followed him, probably would have been easy to clear these heavies and have a relatively easy game. Instead, the team is split. Progetto's dead. Um, gets a nice shot into the to the um, ammo there, the meal there, um, and he is moving for more. And I do like, I mean, as I play this tank today, uh, both in um, uprising mode and in just pubs, the mobility is fantastic. It just moves, and, and the gun depression and the mobility together makes you just be able to hit shots nonstop. Where I was disappointed in the tank, and I just I don't play the Leo that much either, is just the lack of armor even one haul down. You're just not going to be a consistent bounces from meds or from anybody. I mean, it's got better armor than some, but it's just, it's just not... Um, you know, you can shoot it in the front of the turret with about 200, um, which most good players will just use APCR and, and just butter it all day long. It is now three on six in this this crazy game. Um, Khalif Zarek, that's his name. Khalif gets another kill there. Um, he is already at uh, 1,900 damage. It was three on five right now. There comes that ISU from earlier. That an SU, SU from earlier. Um, and Khalif here, he's got to do a lot of work. I mean, you've got an HTC coming up. All kinds of other things going on here. The HTC pushes right in there. HTCs are just annoying tanks to, to dispose of. And this thing, as I said, does not have the greatest pen in the world. Unfortunate RNG there gets the gun turret of the SU-152. But watch him use the mobility of the tank. That's what I like about it. To get around and continuously move, even when you have this much alpha, um, and all the stuff this tank has, a good the aim time of this is amazing. And he's using this AT-7 noob that he's got here to really mess the team up because the AT-7 just keeps on bouncing and doing all kinds of stupid things. Um, and Khalif here is able to just work on, uh, you know, on, on clear. Now he realized early on here, which is where I like this game. So it's two on three right now. He realized that he has got to clear this this VK4502A because he just can't, That that's a good tank, got buffed recently. Um, he's not gonna be able to win with that tank there. The other two are tier sixes and I, th I, I assume he made that decision. Uh, they're not playing that great, okay? They could just rush and kill him, but they clearly chosen not to. So he is working on trying to get the 4502 out, knowing that he can hopefully by then get some help. God knows what happens. Gets another nice shot into it. He's at 4,600 damage by now. The other team has a Leo that is just playing around with this AT-7. When I was watching this, I was really hoping to see the AT-7 clear the Leo. I'm sorry to disappoint you. That does not happen. A really nice side shot there into the 4502. So now he's got three one shots and he just needs to nail his shots and not get na you know nailed in the process um and it is a one on three so kolobanov's in play i should i misspoke there it's uh, one two shots and three and then two one shots um here comes a 4502a and again the gun depression and just the overall profile of the tank allows you to hit a shot like that um he, he can does not want to take a little shot from this leo but does for 280 which is the uh, the and then he kills him and he is now able um to actually probably take a hit if you needed to, but just plows and gets the T-3485. I just thought it was an amazing game. What a comeback. Uh, Khalif, don't know ya. Don't know the e -ser EU server folks, but damn, dude. 5623 damage in tier seven. 1650 base XP. He got five kills. So get the sphere. It's better than the Leo and a good tank. If not, yeah, I'm missing much. Thanks for watching.